Okay, welcome to part one of the uh, Missile Command tutorial. Uh, as a reminder, uh, this uses the SPGL, which is a uh, basic 2D game library that I've written to kind of simplify this for beginning programmers. Um, this is not a beginning tutorial. Um, you should definitely check out my other tutorials. Um, this is definitely more of an intermediate uh, thing. So um, basically, um, if you think about the game of Missile Command, okay, Missile Command has basically the, the, the following objects. You have cities, uh, which it is your job to protect. You have silos, which contain the missiles that you're going to be shooting at the enemy. You have your own missiles, the player missiles, which uh, you shoot at the enemy. And you have the enemy missiles, which are coming down from the sky, trying to destroy uh, your cities. Okay, so basically what I do is I want to get started, and I created a class for each of these objects. Okay, so the class defines uh, an object and how it's going to function. So in Python, uh, we start with the class keyword. We always capitalize it, although lowercase works, but by convention we capitalize it. Um, because it's in the in the parentheses here, we are saying that the city class is a child class of the SPGL, the Simple Python Game Library, sprite class. So I've already created this sprite class for you. And uh, so this gives us uh, some things that we can do with some game objects, some basic game objects. So what we need to do is we need to initialize our city class. And note this is two underscores, not just one. Just one underscore, you'll get an error, or just won't work, right? Um, we use the self keyword to refer to the object. Again, if you don't know what a class is, this is probably not the, the tutorial to start with. Uh, if you're familiar with classes, please proceed. We're going to tell it what shape, what color, the x and y coordinates of the city uh, object. Okay. Now, because it is a child class, we actually have to initialize the parent class, which as I mentioned is the SPGL uh, sprite class. So again, same thing, two underscores before, two underscores after, self, we're sending shape, color, x and y. And here we do the same thing. We've got cities, we've got silos, player missiles, and enemy missiles. Okay, so you might want to take a look at that. So these, again, these are class definitions. They don't really do anything by themselves. To use the class definition, we actually have to create the objects. So in this basic example, I have gone ahead and I've created a city, silo, player missile, and enemy missile object. And then later we'll, we'll talk about how to make multiple ones. Uh, just a quick note, uh, uh, this is a review from the first video. Um, I've created a game object. It is a simple Python game library game object. 800 pixels wide, 600 pixels tall, black background. The title is going to say missile command by blah 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 blah. And this zero here tells it not to show the splash screen. Okay, the splash screen is automatic. Normally it's set for five seconds. If it's zero, it does not show the splash screen. This will, you know, when we're, when we're testing the game and running it, we don't want to sit through a splash screen. So this will hide the splash screen for now. We can change that later. Okay. So my city uh, is a member or is part of the city class. Is it, sorry, it's an instance of the city class. It's a square. It's a green square. And in this case, it's at minus 100, minus 250 from the center of the screen. I've created a silo. It is also square, blue. It is at 0 and negative 200. I've created a player missile. It's a circle. It's a white circle. It's at 0 and negative 250. I've created an enemy missile. and It is also a circle, and it is red at 0 plus 250. Uh, again, this is the main game loop. I have a special method for the game that I've already created called tick, and that takes care of a bunch of things, updates sprites, etc., etc. So let's run that and see what we've got so far. Okay, and this is what it looks like. So you can see, uh, it's a little too far. There we go, that's fine. So I've got my city. It's a green square. It's at minus 100, minus 250. I've got my silo, which is at 0, minus 200. I've got my missile, which is at 0, minus 250. Probably should put that in there. And I've got my enemy missile at 0, plus 250. So this shows me the game's working so far. I've got my objects. Of course, they don't do anything, um, but they uh, they are ready for us to 
make some action. Okay, that's that.